Hello, and welcome to the Intervention Channel, or welcome back. This is a little bit about me. Uh, I'll get right to it. My name is Steve Bruno. I have been an interventionist for uh, nearly 20 years. During that time, I have done interventions all over the world, from here to Costa Rica, where I actually had a couple of gun and cocaine runners help me uh, get one of their subordinates uh, into a treatment program. Uh, I have uh, done, I, I haven't uh, actually refused any case based on its complexity, so I've done interventions for situations that were extremely complicated, uh, highly charged, and I've done interventions that were relatively straightforward. And that's the purpose of my putting together the inter intervention channel, which is to impart whatever experience, whatever wisdom that I have accumulated to you. Uh, whether you're trying to help someone get into treatment or whether you're a professional who wants your potential clients to have a, a workable resource or a resource that offers workable solutions. Um, it began all when I, was, uh, when I was about seven and a half. My mother and father had gotten divorced and uh, I was at home with a couple of older brothers and their older friends and mom was at work uh, working very hard to keep us in the lifestyle that we had been accustomed to nothing uh, particularly you know not wealthy we're not we don't come from a wealthy family but you know to keep us in the house we grew up in and uh, while we were at home uh, you know my brother and their friends my brothers and their friends occasionally thought it was funny to get me high and uh, I learned very early that smoking pot, getting high, uh, gave me a pillow between me and my life. And all the problems with school and my brothers and my, the divorce and everything just melted away. So um, it wasn't too long after that that I went into my first treatment program per se. I mean, it was for adolescents. I was about 12 when my mother sent me to boarding school. Uh, this was right after the adolescent program, and I graduated with straight A pluses. So this became the soup du jour of my life. This became the regular pattern, which was that of a roller coaster. I would have pretty stellar success, followed by cliffhanging chapters with drugs or alcohol, and uh, many times uh, a treatment program. And I, uh, by the time I was 17, I overdosed for the first time. Uh, the story is in my book, More Than Hope. Uh, there's a link below if you'd like to, to read about it. But uh, needless to say, I had chapters of cocaine addiction. I had chapters of methamphetamine addiction. I had chapters of uh, pill addiction. I had chapters of all kinds of different addictions, from shooting up to snorting up to smoking up and just about everything in between. So, and of course, uh, it's worth mentioning the struggle with depression, anxiety, guilt, shame, and uh, emo the emotional burden that comes with being an addict and doing things that are not ethical and the, the betrayals of trust that invariably occur. So uh, flash forward to uh, the treatment program that put me into arguably the best shape of my life when I was about 32 years old. It was a non-traditional program, but it was something that really worked for me uh, in many ways. And um, Two weeks after I graduated, I did my first intervention. It was up in Sacramento, and if you watch Into the Lion's Den, which is here in four parts, uh, I tell the story of that first intervention that I did and the lessons that I learned. Um, I thought it was a fluke that I got this guy in from this highly complex situation that he was in. But the next intervention uh, was a success. So the idea of it being a fluke became less and less likely as I did intervention after intervention after intervention and got addict after addict, alcoholic after alcoholic successfully into treatment programs. Now, I don't have a 100% success rate. No one does. If anybody that you're speaking to about doing an intervention claims that they do, they're lying. It's a bold-faced lie. Nobody can get every single intervention they're hired to do to a successful end. But 
Uh, I do have about a 90, currently I have about a 95% success rate, and that's been very consistent over many years. So another reason that I put together the intervention channel is that I have obviously workable uh, solutions to these complex problems. And I've been doing interventions for 20 years. I've done well over 400 interventions. And um, I wrote More Than Hope in 2017 as an effort to spread the word, spread uh, the what methods I have uh, established and make them available to anybody who wants to read about them. Uh, and now I'm doing the intervention channel. Um, I love my mother and my father and my brothers. I uh, have a good relationship with most of them. <laughs> we all have families, right? Um, I try to uh, improve uh, things as well as I can, and uh, hopefully I have, uh, in putting this channel together, uh, improved your chances of uh, helping the one you love. That's my purpose on this planet right now, is to leave it in better shape, not worse shape, <laughs> than when I arrived. So uh, I probably still have my work cut out for me to make up for the many years I was uh, committing transgressions, but uh, I figure it's a good thing. You know, it's a motivator, it gets me up in the morning and helps me to help others. So uh, if you have any suggestions for subjects, please put them in the comments section. If you have a question, you can put it in the comments section or write to me at stevebruno.com. If you'd like to get my book, it's called More Than Hope. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. My story is in there. My mother wrote a chapter about my intervention from her viewpoint. There's a lot of good strategic uh, advice, and uh, uh, there are many stories in there, actually, about firsthand stories about interventions that I've done. So pick that up if you want to read more. Uh, okay, well, thank you for uh, watching, and thank you for visiting the Intervention Channel. I'm Steve Bruno, and uh, welcome to the Intervention Channel. Okay, thanks for watching.